In this video, we're going to look at how to do a teapot, or some people might call it a shooting duck, some people might even call it a pistol. So what is our teapot exactly? Our teapot is an evolution of our two-foot gliding dip. So our two-foot gliding dip, as you know, is our two-foot, nice balanced two-foot gliding on the ice and dipping so that our knees are at a 90 degree angle. That's your ideal gliding dip. The evolution for the teapot is doing this on one foot and one foot only. So you have to have, you have to be comfortable over your one foot glide. If you're still struggling with a one foot glide in a straight line, you don't have complete control over it, I would advise you to keep practicing that before you think about going for your, two, for your teapot right here. So there are several ways you can get into a teapot. One of them is going down into your two foot glide and dip first, very similar to your two foot glide and dip, and then placing one foot out into your balanced position. This can be like so. So I would come round, I would build up some speed first, I would get down into my two foot glide and dip, and then stick my leg out in order to get into my teapot. The other way, maybe you might feel it might be slightly more tricky this way, it definitely involves a lot more uh, muscular power, is to go straight from one foot all the way down into your teapot, like so. So again, I pick up some speed coming round the corner here, and I'm going to go start off on one foot and drop down into my teapot. So, <clears throat> those are the two main ways I see people getting into the teapot. I personally would advise you to start off with your two foot glide and dip first and sticking your leg out when you've already got your balance and your bent. to get up so you're with one foot in front of you sticking out here with your other the leg that you're standing on nice and bent in front of you you want to make sure that you tuck your other foot in so it's right underneath you and then you can push up on two feet that's for me the easiest way to get out of your teapot if you want to make it really difficult for yourself the same way you went in you can get up straight from one foot so you're here with your other foot out in front and you have to push straight up but again Balance is the key, thing, the key thing throughout the whole of this. If you're wobbling from side to side or if you feel yourself curving without meaning to, you don't have the balance. You need to make sure that you're completely balanced going in a straight line and then you're going to be able to achieve this move a lot easier. Common mistakes I see with this move, as I mentioned, not having the right balance. So as soon as you pick, pick up one foot, you start leaning and you start curving and eventually you'll fall over if, it gets, if the lean gets too much. So you want to make sure that as soon as you pick up onto one foot, you're completely balanced over that one foot. And you know that when you're traveling forward in a straight line, you're going to stay in a straight line without any wobbles or curves. Another very common mistake I see with this move is leaning back. Not so much leaning back, but not leaning forward enough on this move. So as soon as you start going down, you'll pick the leg up and you'll fall backwards like so. You want to make sure that your chest stays forward over your bent knee as you go down with my arms reached out as far as possible in front, but most importantly, keeping your head up. So you don't want your head looking down at your skates. I know it's very tempting to check out what your skates are doing, but try and trust your feeling. More than, having, more than having your eyes to look at your skates, to, to feel what you're doing, to see what you're doing at the time. What you have to think about with this teapot is that when you bend your knees and stick your leg out, you're very close to the ice anyway. So you most likely will fall over trying to learn this move. But when you do fall, remember that you're only inches away from the floor. It's not going to hurt you unless you're really doing something wrong. So try and really have some fun with it and go for it. <laughs> 